James Jack and Jordan Shepard. So much riding on this one. Winners through, losers out. Just a correction to my questionable maths and group four. It's Darren Matthew, of course, and Martin McIntosh playing off for the group winner tonight. Patty did have a chance to stay alive in that match, although <laughs> Simon Webb has rejoined me for commentary, said he thought he was already out before the game. Yeah, he had no clue he could still go through oh with a big win. Obviously, Fraser's uh, tournament is run, unfortunately. Too little, too late. Massive, massive match. The biggest match so far because it involves Jordan Shepard and his chances of making it through match to the knockout stages. To start. There we go, a little late. <laughs> Be a 20 minute and a bit match this one. We've had a couple of them. Hard to believe that Jordan Shepard, with the form he has shown over the previous seven town shootouts, isn't already safely through to knockout stages. Yeah, he shouldn't have left himself in this position at all. This is a straight knockout match. Winner goes through, loser out. Only thing in Jordan Shepard's favour, he has the frame difference. So a draw would see him through. Such a fortune for Jordan Shepard, holds up his hand, hasn't finished particularly kindly for him anyway. Right at the top of the table, still doesn't go. He may be able to sneak the red, he's closest to into the middle pocket. Not sure the other two go. Plays it off the yellow. Has that yellow blocked a pot to the top left or can he sneak one into the left centre? I think the way he's lining this up, it probably does go to the left centre. Didn't want to flick that yellow. He was trying to glide by the yellow and flick the red out. This will be the end of his opportunity in this visit. Just plays a containing safety shot. It was a slowish start for Jordan Shepard. He got off to a slow start against John Roberts in his first match. The first match of the event, actually, yesterday afternoon. But he eventually came through four frames to two. But it was the match against Callum Singleton that we really started to question what was going on with Jordan Shepard. Wasn't playing his best. And Camel, Callum Singleton played a brilliant match. Actually played brilliantly all the way through to get a 3-2 victory. And then a little bit earlier on this afternoon, we saw Jordan Shepard get that 4-1 win over Kean Monaghan. So he still has it all in his own hands. Oh, did he play the plant there? I think he must have done. He'll be forced into it. Knew he was leaving the frame if he missed. Oh, that's a bad miss from James Jack. That really was a golden opportunity to win this opening frame and get himself going in the match. Safety shot for Jordan. He couldn't pot that. Well, he could pot that red, but if he did pot the red, he wouldn't be on the other red. So he's going to wait for a better opportunity. You know, his only alternative there was to roll in the red and play the double on the final red, but that was uh, that was an unnecessary risk he would have been taking. That's a great pot. Slow start for James Jack as well in his group games, but in a very similar scenario to... Jordan Shepard, he turned around a deficit against John Roberts and got himself a victory in his opening match before losing out to Cal Callum Singleton yesterday, four frames to nil. And this morning, he beat Kean Monaghan 4-2 to get himself into this position. Well, that's one way of doing it. <laughs> what a shot that was. 
This is delicate, but he's given himself every chance now. Just a fraction under hit, but okay. And that's straightened up as well. Should be absolutely fine. In it goes. Double J. James Jack strikes first in what is a winner takes all final group match. Work to do for Jordan Shepherd, who's dominated this town shootout. Wanted a quick start, hasn't got it. Jordan Shepard did go behind in his match earlier on this afternoon against Kian Monaghan. Went 1-0 down. Good clearance from Kian. But responded and responded really well. If he's going to continue this domination of this event, he's going to need to do so once again. I don't know if you can hear a background of uh, Stone Roses covers. We certainly can in our commentary box. I don't know if a Stone Roses tribute band is playing in the venue next door. Feels like it. Yeah, we're getting the vibrations as well as the music. Yeah. Well, it's a dry break from James Jack, and it's not the particularly, not a particularly good split. James has popped into the commentary box throughout the weekend and constantly been claim, uh, complaining about his break. Can't find one that works. Oh, that's in. How about that? Still some problems right at the bottom of the table for Jordan Shepard. The black is pretty tied up and there's a red just below it. That's a problem ball. Could go into the, that area now, but wouldn't be a huge amount of control on the shot. Oh, brilliant. That has come out absolutely beautifully. Opens everything up. Wonderful shot. That's why he's won five of these town shootout events in 2019. Desperately, desperately wants to make it into the quarterfinals tonight. He knows he's had a rough run through the group stages. If he can just scrape through, even as runner-up. He'll feel confident, won't he, in the last eight tonight. He just needs to get himself there. He'll then start to see see the victory. It'll be three, three solid wins away from the title again. In goes the black. Great response, John Shepard. 1-1 with James Jack. Reminder, the winner of this match goes through as runner-up in group number one. Callum Singleton has won that group. Callum Singleton, one of the standout players of the event so far. First taste of the town shootout, but he's been absolutely brilliant. And come through as a deserved group winner. The group winners will play the group runner runners up. So it's important to try and finish top of the group if you can. Try and avoid some of the big seeds. Some of the guys playing well, like Chris Melling. Yeah, there'll be a, a draw for the quarterfinals. Group winners drawn against the runners-up. That'll be at 7 o'clock. We'll be off air by 7 here on Free Sports TV, but that draw will uh, take place live through the event's social media, Facebook channels. If you want to follow that, I think Dennis Taylor performing the duties. And it's Dennis we're going to see actually on the table next. Dead rubber, but Dennis Taylor against Liam Dunster. Still well worth turning up for. If you're going to have a dead rubber, that's a pretty good one. It's going to be very entertaining. Oh, it's going to be a foul. Jordan Shepard not reaching a cushion after contact with the red. And gives away the foul. That's a careless mistake. And he's not happy. Jordan Shepard always one of the players to show his emotion in the arena. Can't really get my head round what's gone wrong for him here in Aberdeen. 
for a guy who's been so dominant throughout this town shootout series to have looked as out of sorts as he has at this event to me makes no sense oh no little flick and the whites in how has he run off there James Jack what a gift for Jordan Shepherd just as we're writing his post-mortem he's uh, he's back in the ascendancy well, I think I talked about it a little bit earlier I don't think Jordan Shepherd's form has been particularly good over the past year or so not on the town shootout he has a lot of titles away from that in the pro tour the IPA tour it's not been the form we're used to seeing from Jordan Shepherd and he's not been putting the time on the table and the practice table I actually don't think he's been playing his best throughout the previous town shootouts in the early stages but he's found a way to get through and then once he's come up against one of the other top players he's found a gear and he's found a way to win and he'll be thinking the same here if he can just get through this match he knows he's not played his best but it will be three wins from four and then he can build on that well he's found a way to win this frame there's a concession from James Jack with the match clock on nine minutes just to try and speed things up he knows he was going to lose so why give Jordan seconds the extra 20 seconds to finish off the job 2-1 to Jordan Shepard James Jack's turn to shake his head. Big error on his part. He was handed a golden opportunity by a careless shot from Jordan Shepard in that frame. And just a little bit careless with his positional play. Ends up potting the white in the centre pocket and he knows it's a bad error. And his break hasn't improved. He's been struggling all event with that break. Tricky opportunity for Jordan Shepherd, a couple of yellows that are causing a problem he's going to try and develop them well, he's, he could take the pocket well he is going to take the pocket about to say he has the opportunity to develop them with his pot along the bottom rail but no need to push the boat out when you're ahead and the match clock is ticking down That's a really good shot from James Jack and acknowledged by Jordan Shepard. Planting that red over the top left corner, blocking off a yellow, trying to make it difficult for Jordan Shepard. Missed the cannon he needed on those yellows. Just wanted a little flick to open them up. He's lost the white there. Yeah, it has to be the safety. It was a strange choice of shot from Jordan Shepard, that previous cut into the right centre. It wasn't immediately obvious what he was trying to do and how he was going to try and clear up. It was just potting a ball that was on. Very unlike Jordan. Well, he's had to rush to find a shot. Almost dropped James Jack. Jordan comes round to have a look at the yellow at the top of the table. Blows his cheeks as if to say, that's tight. I don't think it goes. It might go to the top right off the the top jaw off the red. Either, no, either way, he needs a really good shot here. Well, he's played for it into the top left. No, he's going to run straight. Well, if this is tight, and it has to be, being uh, off angle on it makes it even harder can't see the pocket oh he's got it what a shot that's incredible this for 3-1 and a bit of daylight well played that's terrific from Jordan Shepard look what it means as well he's produced his best clearance of the weekend when he needed it most and he goes 3-1 ahead and one frame away from rescuing a place in the quarterfinals almost feel the relief come out of Jordan Shepard after he potted that black because he has the ability to go through with the draw that pot pretty much was enough 
There isn't enough time on the clock, you feel, for James Jack to win three frames. He'd need a golden break or a, a golden duck break from Jordan to speed play up. And it won't be on this frame. It's Jordan's best break for a while. Giving him a good opportunity here to wrap this up in double quick time. So it looks like Jordan Shepard's going through with Callum Singleton in group one. That would only leave, I think, one quarterfinal place up for grabs. Fitzsimmons or Boyle from group three. In it goes. Victory and a handshake and a huge sigh of relief for the Welsh Wizard. The dominant force has salvaged a place in the quarterfinals. Jordan Shepard marches on. Don't go anywhere. It's Liam Dunster and Dennis Taylor locking horns. And that's next. Almost at the conclusion of the group stage of this town shootout grand finals in Aberdeen. Both of these players are out, but if you want an exhibition match, it's not a bad choice, is it, Dennis Taylor and Liam's Dun Liam Dunster? Liam's won two of these stamp shootout events. Dennis has potted the white. In fifth, 